Hello, this is Opro Belzar, and welcome to Belzar Strategic Arcana. So this is going to be my first turn in my multiplayer series against Bite Nope Chomp with the Ghosts of Pacific. 1879. Let's go. Uh, this is going to be the Peruvian and Bolivian turn one. So it'll be February 24th, 1870. Chile is going to be uh, just marching right into Bolivian territory. Rather unprovoked. I'm gonna use the 3D sprites. Uh, they fit the they fit the area or the, the the this map size and everything like that. I like using NATO, but they're pretty plain Jane. When we're gonna be using a lot of there's gonna be a lot of naval action. Okay, let's see what Chile does. Me and Ryan have been smack talking each other a little bit behind the scenes too. <laughs> Okay, he's gonna land at Antofagasta. Take the mines, very efficient. Right, he's gonna go for Kalama, and I bet you he's gonna be loading an HQ or deliver an HQ to Kobija. Now Peru's not in the war. Yeah, look, there's some naval action going on. There's gonna be a lot of that, <clears throat> guaranteed. Poor Bolivia. Mr. President, Bolivia's invocation of our 1873 defense treaty following a Chilean invasion in Antofagasta makes Peru's intervention in the war inevitable in the near future. Our army is small and unprepared, and the mobilization of reinforcements must now be given the highest priority. With little domestic arms industry, we are forced to import much of our weaponry from overseas suppliers, particularly the United States, making us vulnerable to a naval blockade. Fortunately, our opponents are bound by similar constraints and it's likely that whoever controls the sea will win this war. I absolutely agree. The long distances in arid terrain at Atacama, Atacama Desert mean that supplying our forces overland will be next to impossible, so we will follow our Navy and show our troops will be deployed on the battlefield. Recommendation, concentrate your efforts on winning war at sea while preparing for a land campaign. We go, growl, seminario. Commander of the Navy, yes. <clears throat> Well, we got a few things to do here. Peru's out of the war, or not in the war yet, out of the war, no. Let's go ahead and do with the Bolivian source. This is Daza. Now Daza, I'm not gonna do it right now, but later on I can sack him for Camp Peril, which I will do. Daza is an infamous donkey. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and force march these guys down to the, until we can enter Peru. Let's move you in. All right, let's go on out. Let's go look at uh, the situation here. Now, I've got some troops I'm going to be bringing in transports. Uh, I hope that there's a little bit of a randomness here in this scenario when Peru gets in. We are actually hoping that they stay out of the war for a few extra turns, but I don't know. I've got contingency plans if they get in too soon. Um, <clears throat> but we're going to be defending this line right here at Tarapaca. Now, he's going to be able to grab these mines. There's no way. He's got divisions he's landed there. I don't do not have divisions. So, I have garrisons and I've got battalions. And there's the Colorados right there. So, this port right here, Elo, Melendo, and Elo are going to be very important. Arica, of course, and Pisagua. Ikike, I'm not going to, not going to be able to defend it very well. But we're going to make a line here. And that's where we're going to get our land units. So we're going to get significant units in. The first thing I got to do, though, is I've got I've only got 50 MPP, but next turn I'm going to be able to get I'm going to have way over 200 plus MPP, so I can get these guys reinforced. Uh, Chilean Navy's in the same boat, pardon the pun. Anyway, let's go ahead. These uh, gunboats, by the way, are going to be really valuable to watch my coastline. Because I'm going to need to get down here. I'm going to. I don't want to lose these though. <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead and get them here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go back and forth. You see how our spotting range is limited on the coast? There isn't any. <laughs> so we're going to be doing that now. Let's go ahead. Let's uh, take the Lima Battalion. We had an H HQ too, so we're going to land you at Arica. I mean, Pisagua. 
I've got pictures of, uh, I've got photographs. I'm going to post them on the forum later. Uh, contemporary photographs, most of them are black and white. Some have been colorized of these, I mean, it's, it really is a, kind of a nasty place. Let's get in Tarapaka. Uh, let's go look at supply here. We're going to show you. Well, we can't see it yet. Uh, anyway, you're going to get out of here. I'm going to need you up here. Uh, you're not going to be able to withstand any divisions. Okay, let's get this one. Take this hill. Let's see your trenchman at max two here. We're gonna get you out probably. Um, he'll he'll be able to come right up. Now I gotta get these guys in ports. Now my monitors are slow. I'm gonna bring the fleet down together. So I've got to repair them. I've got to reinforce them next turn. So it's gonna be this is gonna be hypercritical. Now these these are Corvettes. And I got Trujillo here, I think. Oh, here's Trujillo. Hmm. Yeah, this, this is good for now. Uh, I'll bring you up here. I want to get them all now. You, though, I'm just wondering. I don't want to block these ports. But I can go do Elo. Thing is, if he comes up in here on these guys, they are toast. These Corvettes. Uh, no. Oh boy. Or do I keep him here? Yeah, I'm going to keep him here. I have 18 left. Let's get Bonita. Uh, General Bundia. Now, I want to look at something here. Does it have the list? No, I because I, I moved them. That's fine. Oh, uh, yeah, Cusco. Now, I'm going to bring you up this way. <clears throat> there's, there's this road, too. So, it is possible if he... No one seen what Ryan did. What he, he has a pension. He's going to want to. Uh, I mean, watching the current his match against the colonel. He, he's eager to get uh, transports. So that's why the um, garrison these is going to be super important. Uh, also, he, if he brings his ships here, we're going to form our fleet here, and then we'll bring it down. We'll see. We want we want to kill one of his uh, ironclads now. Ikiki, Ikiki. don't want to I'm gonna get you out yeah the elo yeah for a moment now I'm gonna Daza when I can finally get in we're gonna he's gonna be based at talk 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 now I think that's it yeah. all right so it's a fast one. Let's go ahead and zoom in down here. Okay, we got 234 MPP. Get some from Costa Rica, some from the United States, Colombia, and Panama. Yeah, Panama is still part of Colombia. That won't last long. <laughs> All right. Well, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, there'll be some action pretty quick. That's one thing about this scenario. All right, this is Old Crow Belzar. See on the virtual battlefields, I am gone. <laughs>